Oh, it, it ends in, in, in Lorman, Mississippi. That's the end of fried chicken. And I will never eat fried chicken again because now I've had fried chicken elevated to a place where I can't accept, I can't get there myself because I don't have whatever the, the voodoo is that gets that chicken the way it is, I, I don't possess. And I'm simply, I would just rather never have it again. Then we go to this place, it's out in the middle of nowhere and my crew is really, really hungry. So we go in and I started shooting and I'm the last guy to get to the table and I go up to the buffet and all the chicken is gone. There's no more chicken, none. I'm not going to have a piece of chicken. There's no more fried chicken. This right here is why it's bad to be me, because this is where the fried chicken was. They had their cobbler for dessert, and the cobbler was fine, but it wasn't as good as the chicken. And we started getting packed up and everything, and he apparently had gone back in and cooked another chicken's worth of fried chicken, specifically for me. And so it brings it out at the last moment. So it, it, it was sauced with desperation. You know, like Cervantes said, hunger is the best sauce. And you know, I was at that point of, of almost despair because I, I, I could smell the chicken, you understand? That was... In all honesty, this is the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life. I mean, it was like Colonel Sanders pole dancing. I don't know why that comes to mind, but it, it, there was certainly a, uh, there, was, there was something real sexy going on with, with that chicken. Um, and so I just, I don't wanna have any more chicken. I'm gonna have that chicken or no chicken at all, no fried chicken at all.